So honestly, it comes down to the little things like support. You want to support Dom. He's the original, from what I heard, he's the original like manufacturer and the original brains behind this whole entire cooling mod kit. So people way smarter than myself figured out that the EJ motors were suffering from an imbalance where coolant would just sit there pooling in cylinder four with nowhere to escape. So now you're able to escape the coolant so that hot coolant will move in order for cooler coolant to go past the cylinder. Even after your great grandmother started having cylinder four misfires and ringland failures at 5,000 miles on their new STIs and WRXs. Now, I don't want to inaccurately state who the first person to figure this out is, but I know the Get a Dom Tune kit was the first to market. We just have to be thankful that someone figured something out. In the end, I wanted to show my support, but there were a few things about the Get a Dom Tune kit that I didn't like. One was that you had to actually bend the hose, and when you crimp a hose, it can reduce the flow by a little bit, and it does put stress on the fittings, and the clamps especially. The use of AN fittings, the Army-Navy fitting, that was a big seller for me. It's got the 45 degree angle, so the hose doesn't have to be crimped at all. The fitting that goes into the head is 26 millimeters, has a crush washer, and does not use RTV sealant. You can use a little bit of thread sealant, but this threads in so good that you don't have to. Where all the kits differ, the biggest for me is the flow. Each one has different characteristics for hose, IDs, inner diameters, and the nipples. Ability to flow versus the 45 degree angle that it has to pass by on the VEMS kit. Both companies say that they have rigorously tested both of these with R&D, so I don't think there's any issue with it. I'm not out on the Nürburgring every day, so let's hope it's not going to be an issue. So you're going to need a 12 millimeter hex for this bolt right here. This was what was blocking the coolant passage. I drained all the coolant from the radiator. And when I took the 12 millimeter plug out, there was very little coolant. Now, if you don't have the right tools, this is gonna be somewhat of a pain. It's a 26 millimeter. It scared me a little how good it threads into the actual head. The AN fitting screws into the head so well that it may not even need the crush washer, but it's there just in case. Now locating what heater core hose you want is pretty important. Now the VEMS kit is specific to each year, so they cut the hose perfectly for you. So it's probably, if you put this on, it's probably the one that it reaches to, depending on what car you have. Now you can see that there's a black tube that comes out onto that hose that's right above the VEMS kit. That's the one you want to locate for the heater core not the one with the aluminum pipe. To see the tail of the tape, how the Get A Dom Tune Kit and the VEMS Tuning Kit match up side by side, check out Subaru Only has a great video on how these two perform. There are actually a lot of other copycat kits around, but all of them are within the same price range. They're about $100 with shipping, and let's admit it, this is probably one of the best things to come along for our Subarus maintenance-wise, when you're done making a mess and spilling coolant, you can use super clean floor absorbent and other cleaners to clean up the job. I was thinking of getting the Get A Dom Tune kit, but then I was going to have to source out my own AN fittings, and that's the only reason why. Ultimately, went with the VEMS tuning kit. Ease of install. So I hope this does everyone some type of justice on why I went with this kit and not supported the original maker of the actual kit itself. Hashtag save the ringlands is a VEMS tuning thing. The, both kits are going to work great for you. They are both tested. They do both have research and development done with them. So you know both kits are going to work. Uh, hopefully this helps everyone out there with your decisions. Um, support who you want to support. I love Dom. I'm going to be getting... Some of his other GD things I heard is, are in the works. I hope you've enjoyed this foray into the EJ cooling system and some of the benefits that we can enjoy from some aftermarket parts. So check out those other fantastic YouTube channels, Subaru Only, and Get A Dom Tune. Enjoy everyone. We'll see you later. SVTWRC. Bye-bye.